Welcome back to the show. Miss Marta stepped away so we could do mail. Actually, Tenchala asked her to step away. I hope you said it nicely. Oh, of course she did. She likes Marta. So uh, we're going to get back to Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women first, but I think we need to do mail, right? Indeed. It's, he doesn't like standing there unless we're doing mail. I like to be a productive. Well, you are productive. It's a good thing you're not reproductive. All right, what do we got? Our first letter is from our new fans in Ohio, Tim and Dollar. Dollar. You remember Dollar Hood from uh, the Little Rascals and our gang? I do not. No, Dollar Hood. No, you, you need to watch. He needs to watch more television. All right, here we go. Uh, we love your show. All three of you are fun to watch. We discovered you on YouTube this summer. You and Livingston have your hands full keeping Tangela out of trouble. You know, he has his hands full. I have my po pocketbook empty. So that's the way that situation works. We love the film Grave of the Vampire with your guest, Aka Stoker. He was wonderful. We would like to suggest a film for Tangela, Night of the Lepus from 1972. Lepus is rabbit, right? Could be. Not? Leper? Leper. No, it's not leper. All right. Uh, we'll Google this afterwards. Uh, Neither Leap is from 1972. Tangela will love it. It's about a giant killer bunny. Look, right there. In black and white. All right. Keep up the great work and stay healthy. Thank you, Tim and Darla. And I wonder if it's actually Darla Hood. Or maybe she's related to Darla Hood. I don't know. Write back to us. Let us know. All right. Letter number two. Is from Jenny Butterfield in Lake Havasu, Arizona. That's a nice place. Have you ever been? No. That's it. Just no. You never plan to go? No, I have never been, and I have no plans to go well, there. You know what's there? London Bridge. The actual London Bridge. The original London Bridge. Disassembled and moved to Lake Havasu, Arizona. Why? And I bet Jenny has walked across. I don't know why. Do I look like Google? No, you do not. Maybe I do. I don't know what Google looks like. All right, here she goes. Dear Vince, I hear you recently completed the process for American citizenship. That I did. Glad to have a horror host as a new American. Well, I, I don't know if that's quite a good thing. Was wondering, as a former Brit, what's your opinion on our form of politics? And who were you rooting for? Yours truly, Jenny Butterfield. Lake Havasu. Uh, you know, I'm an entertainer. I am not the person to ask opinion of politics. And quite frankly, you know, if you, you watch the show to get away from all that, don't you? You don't want to talk about religion and politics and all that stuff. You want to be entertained. And I, I, I think the last thing in the world an entertainer should do is talk about politics, right? I mean, you're just going to anger half the people, right? At least. At least. No. I, I, there's an old saying, it goes, shut up and play your guitar, and I keep up to that. And uh, in my case now, I guess it's shut up and play your horror films, right? Right. Anyways, thanks for writing, Jenny. Any more mail for me? One more. One more. Oh. Booklet. Good Lord. I'm going to need a magnifying glass for this one. All right. This is a long read from Neil Weirich. 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 Middletown, Pennsylvania. You know, I wonder if there's like a left town and a right town and then Middletown. It's a possibility. Don't deny it. You All confuse right. me sometimes. I confuse myself more. All right. Uh, here we go. Dear Mr. Vincent Van Dahl, Mr. Livingston, and Miss Tangella, the Empress of the Macabre. You know, she's not quite dark enough, I think. I think if she like change the hair to black it would be better right to be the empress of the macabre all right i have a lot to read here here we go i had to write to tell you how grateful i am to have run across you on youtube i grew up on vincent price and low budget horror movies i love them i can't get enough of them even the worst ones can give you a good laugh all three of you bring your own special talent to the show tangela and her objects of curiosity what do you got tonight oh that one again mm. Uh, Mr. Livingston and his, and his expressionless eye rolls. Now, I find them quite expressionful. 
And the beginning of each episode, Mr. Van Dahl waving his fingers with a familiar stay tuned. You know, somebody else told me I'd do that. I just don't realize I'm doing it at the time. I, or maybe I need to stop and just put my hands at my side. Or I'll look like a real YouTuber who's always talking with his hands. There are many things you right? do that you do not realize. I also enjoyed the guests you have on the show, all very interesting and informative. I just finished watching Guatemalan Handshake for the first time. There was something about that film that seemed familiar to me. After reading the credits, I learned that this film uh, was filmed in the area in which I live. Oh, that's wonderful. One movie I don't see in your list of episodes is Manos, The Hands of Fate. Can we get that one, Tom? We'll try. We're going to try. Uh, it has everything, bad script, bad acting, and bad music. Just add some bad hosts, and it'll be a wonderful combination, would it not? Well, I just wanted to let you know that you are appreciated, and you bring back memories to this older adult. Keep up the good work. Well, you are appreciated as well, Neil, and thank you so much for writing, and I hope everything is wonderful in Middletown, Pennsylvania. And do let us know if there's a left town and a right town. I think Living to Stin and I are going to have a bet soon, a wager. Who knows? That's it. That's it. That is it for mail. If you would like to send us some, use the address you see appearing down here. Or if you'd like to send something in the post, no postal mail this week, eh? No. All right. No postal mail this week. But if you'd like to send us some, use this address down here. We'll be right back with Marta soon. But first, let's get back to Voyage to the Planet of Prehistoric Women. Well, good evening. This is Mary from Roanoke Park. I used to sit and watch creature features and scare myself silly when I was a young girl babysitting. I just ran across it this evening and I am so excited to see that it is on. Take good care and keep creature features a coming. <laughs> 